What's going on guys, Manslayer here. I was reached out to showcase Pascal's Wager by Giant Games. I took a look and saw it was a mobile game currently available on Android and iOS. The link is in the description, they're currently having that holiday sale so I definitely recommend checking that out. It takes place in a dark fantasy world, the land of Solus, where a black mist, a curse has spread throughout, and now monsters are turning humans into beasts called the Mard. With this dark fog engulfing the world, the only safe areas for humans are near Colossus, a sort of godlike giant creature that emits a light that wards off the dark fog. So the Colossi, they migrate. So wherever they go, the humans must follow, building villages and towns around the creatures. But after a thousand years of doing this, the Colossi, or more commonly known as the lamppost gods, have begun to die off. And guess whose job it is to figure out why? That's right, your mom. I mean, Terrence. Terrence has to figure out what's going on. I mean, not, not that your mom wouldn't do a good job, but anyway, I guess Terrence, he's trying to find his ex-wife, who's now a witch. So we basically got monsters and drama. So I'm pretty much all in. So Pascal's Wager is a mobile game, but in terms of production value, feels more like a console or PC game in comparison to many other mobile games. It features impressive animations, choreographed cutscenes, great music and sound effects, and even full voice acting, which you guys know I love. The great majority of mobile games, especially RPGs, feature just text for dialogue, so it's really a breath of fresh air. Visually, Pascal's Wager delivers in creating a dark and gloomy and gritty world. The monsters are all unique and show a lot of creativity and bring creepy, frightening life to the areas. Due to the black fog and monsters, you can see how the areas are always broken down and decrepit. But even in such a gloomy land, like in many good RPGs, you're still going to come across NPCs. Some will be innocent, others evil, and many questionable. But it's things like that that show the effort that has gone into the game. As we all know, there are many mobile games out there just looking to get into your pants, I mean your wallet, and turn us into gamblers, but it's great to say Pascal's Wager is certainly not one of them. You buy the game outright and there's no subscriptions, passes, in-game currencies, just purchase the game up front and you got the game. But if you do want to spend a little more money, there are cosmetic skins for the characters and an expansion pack which is entirely up to you to purchase and won't limit any in-game progress. As you can see here, I gave Viola the initiation right outfit. She was wearing armor before, but if I was a gun-toting badass female warrior, would I want to fight in armor or miniskirt heels and knee socks? Miniskirt and heels, right? It's the only viable choice. And I could go into full detail and dialogue discussing her every article of clothing, but I'll save that for another video. And no, I'm not sure if they'll be releasing miniskirt DLC for the male character, so please stop asking. Pascal's Wager, it's soul-like. So I don't care how good you think you are at video games, you will die and die a lot. It's all about the challenge. It's all about encountering new enemies, learning their techniques, their tactics, their movements. Are they quick? Are they slow? Will they dodge? Will they block? Some will grab you any chance they get, and I'm not even gonna say where. They just will. And this guy clearly deserves to die for that. Just dropping out of the sky. Who even does that? So this is Viola. I actually just unlocked her, so I'm learning how to really become efficient with her. And he just drops to the ground like, yeah, I had enough. So I'm gonna show you guys how to switch between characters. Another new character I unlocked. This is Norwood, the mysterious masked man. I noticed he only has one arm, but it's his right arm, so that's a pretty good thing, you know? You know what I mean? Because right arms are good for punching, come on. Oh, so that's a, that's actually a coffin on his back. I thought that was a shield. Oh, Granada. All right, let's see how this works. Oh, he, you see, this is why his right arm is good, okay? Oh, that coffin shield is pretty strong. So Norwood is clearly a slow but strong melee character. Very unlike Terrence and Viola, he's sort of unarmed but uses his coffin for special attacks. I'm kind of interested in seeing what other moves he- Oh! Did he just slap my ass? Ah! Oh, that wasn't very nice. 
Imagine being a demon in a creepy dungeon and your first thought for a sneak attack is a booty slap. You're destined for great things. And so the talent tree is where you can unlock and upgrade new traits and skills. Many skills even having multiple levels you can upgrade. The core areas are sanity, alchemy, attack, and special. And another great thing is that each character has their own tree and unique skills, so you can really get in depth customizing each character to your own liking. Alright, who is this guy? He's not an enemy. Human, do you want to make a deal with me? I have a lot of treasure. Uh... Oh, he's a merchant. Throwing knife, elixirs... So, as in any good RPG, you're gonna come across all types of NPCs. But, Teresa, I gotta show you guys one of my favorite scenes. My first huge there. boss battle. See what you have done. More importantly, you have to respect his outfit. So as I mentioned before, one of the cool features in this game is how you can switch characters. Now, you can do that at any time, but you can't do it in the middle of a battle. So I have Norwood paired with me right now, but I can't switch. So in a boss battle like this, you need to be ready at the beginning. And I'm, I'm never ready. So I gotta figure out this guy's moves. The Heavenly Father, as he likes to be called. And for the record, there are difficulty levels. And since I'm so good at every single video game in the history of life, I decided to drop the difficulty so that I could show you guys this full battle and not brag and show off my immense skills. I know, I'm, I'm a super nice guy. There we go, he's already dead. Easy. Or not. Oh, it's Alduin's Meteor Shower. I might be able to handle this. So you can actually play Pascal's Wager with a wireless controller if you pair it. It's actually pretty easy. I'm using the touch screen right now. Just to get the full mobile experience. But it's funny how you can forget that it's a mobile game. The more you play, the more you'll unlock and be able to upgrade your character's skills and abilities, which leads to new specials and moves. Like I said, the production value in this game is great, and considering action RPGs are one of my favorite genres, it's great seeing more on the mobile scene. And the Heavenly Father is really making me try right now. Great. Now I'm down to my last potion. I've really been enjoying this game. And they're constantly adding more. In December, they had a huge free update, which added the Obsession Challenge, which is a boss rush mode, putting you up against a ton of bosses, and you can even compare your stats against other players. That's clearly a mode I'll be dominating. <coughs> so along with added support, they added new outfits, and even keyboard and mouse support on top of the controller support. So you'll be able to play however you feel comfortable. Wait, what is he doing? What is this? Oh, I could have just executed him. Ah. Oh. You really have to be prepared for that. I hate this lava. You can't run when you're on the lava. Oh, it's getting way too close now. I got this. One more charge. All right, I think this is it. Oh no, no! Oh, I thought I was gonna die. One more hit. Oh, oh man, I'm dead. But I have backup. Norwood, just one hit and he's dead. Got him. I can't believe that really came down to the last one hit. Oh, the drama. If God gets angry, if God has mercy, he will turn this cold sword into fiery punishment to end your worthless life. That is the best ending for Adamina. Wait, you are the one who betrayed her. No, kill him. I curse you. Do it. I curse you. Do it. 
So don't forget, they just released their winter update, which includes great balance updates, new skins, keyboard and mouse support for iOS 14 and up. And of course, the big one, the new boss obsession challenge, which is a free addition to anyone with the base game and lets you take on boss after boss, which is, of course, my favorite part of the game. So if you like what you see, check out the link in the description to download Pascal's Wager. Huge shout out to Giant Games for the sponsor. They're currently having their holiday sale, but only for a limited time till January 10th. So definitely recommend checking that out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.